everyone, Corey Takei here for the Popcorn Network. I am in Los Angeles, California at the premiere of the Smosh movie. I've got some fun interviews, so come check it out. Are you hungry? Oh, don't delete that file. People are going to make it a weird GIF and they're going to no. Photoshop it. You just gave everyone the idea, right? I know. Now. Yeah, copyright that idea. That's <laughs> me. Credit me in it. Tag me in it at least. So tell me why everyone should be watching the Smosh movie. I think um, every audience member should be watching the Smosh movie because these guys have consistently been doing it for like nine years now. So you owe it to them to check out their movie definitely because you know that they're going to deliver something quality. They've always been there for their audience. I think this is the one time where if you've ever been a fan you should check it out, you should rent it, you should buy it, whatever. I think if you're a fellow creator you should watch it because it's just important for the digital space. I mean, it's not just like Smosh is in a movie, this is the Smosh movie. And, and that's very important. They're trailblazers, and so we should all we should all follow them down that path. And I think it starts with checking out their movie. Yeah, if you follow them, maybe you'll get a, a wax museum. Wax. I heard those cost like three hundred thousand dollars, so I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> I hear that too. Yeah. Plus, there's no there's no uh, there's no like love parts on them. I saw I undressed Anthony when they had they left it by itself for a moment. I undressed it. There's nothing un in there. I think that's a three hundred thousand dollar piece. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what that that the piece that they didn't add? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I touched it. But no, the Ian one is is it actually completely replicated the entire thing, so it's weird. That's amazing. Yeah, it's weird. It really is. It's crazy. So where do you see the YouTube world going? You where do I see YouTube going? Um, I think now it, it's gotten to a place where, you know, when you would ask where is YouTube going and where are digital creators going, it was like one and the same question. But now I think it goes differently, like YouTube, I mean, you know, I, I don't envy being in the position, the spearhead of like where entertainment industry is going and all that, but where do digital stars go? People that were YouTubers, I think they're no longer just YouTubers. Ian and Anthony, they're a movie star now. They're movie producers now. They're, you know, uh, you know, on Epic Meal Time we have our own TV show. It's like a lot of changes are happening and I think something like this is super important and, and this dictates kind of where the future of YouTubers will be. There's a lot of people back there screaming. And where can people, like, what, what, what projects do you have going, coming up? What projects do I have coming up? Uh, we have, uh, we still do our food shows on Tuesdays and Fridays on Epic Mealtime YouTube. Uh, we just started producing a show called Epic Tool Time where it takes all of our stuff outside of the kitchen. And, um, you know, doing stuff like we've been working on a TV show with a Canadian production company, our own TV show. I just filmed a pilot, uh, I don't even know if I could talk about it because it's not, but it's a food show also, I did it with my mom, and we'll see if that gets picked up. <laughs> yeah. Popcorn keeps secrets, no oh, I'm just kidding. Don't tell anyone about this popcorn. Well thank you so much, thank you so and much. congratulations.